sitting outside of my new favorite store, Menards and getting ready to go in and purchase things that you will need for the subfloor. Um, I am going to get two by twos as well as one inch uh, rigid foam board as well as the plywood for the floor. Uh, and I won't say I'm nervous. I will say this is something that's very new. And um, I do have a thought that I've been thinking about a lot lately, which is if you have somebody trying something new, I challenge you not to project your limitations on them. Um, you know, I have my own concerns or like, can I do it? I've never done this, you know, different things like that. And then there's a lot of people saying, can you do it? this? You've never done this. And so it's a very interesting experience uh, manifesting that outside of me the reflection and I'm like no I can do it I'm willing to believe I can do it and I have like a nervous stomach as I am about to go into Menards and they're gonna say what size is this what measurement is that and I'm like hee -dee 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 -dee. right like I'm trying to know as much as possible and so far I've constantly been asked questions that I don't have the answers to <laughs> and I'm still gonna do it and it's still gonna work and it's still gonna be fast fun easy and effortless so follow along and let's laugh about it later <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to The Van Build. My name is Abigail Gazda, if you are new here, and I share transformation and travel and van builds. And so um, this is project two or three, if you're paying any attention. Uh, we have the sound deadening uh, material up. There is a video for that. I also put a video up because I covered the seats and so, um, talked about that and now we are on to the subfloor so um, so far <laughs> I wanted to share a, an experience about being at Menards and shopping for this stuff because I will be the first to tell you the first to admit that um, I do not I've done my research enough however um, it's very interesting. As soon as I walked into Menards, I knew what I needed and there's about 97 options for anything that you need. So you need two by twos, which we have, while well, they come in three foot, four foot, eight foot, 10 foot, which do you need? Or the plywood, there's 17 options for plywood. And so um, I was able to ask a few questions, make sure that I was getting the right stuff, covering the surface area. In fact, I went in and I bought um, eight two by twos and then as soon as I came out to the parking lot I had laid them out and then realized I needed about 10 more. So uh, there will be lots, plenty of trips to Menards and or Home Depot. And then also I got the um, foam, foamular, the rigid foam board and it's one inch because it's going to provide a bit more insulation and sound. So like warmth and cool, but also sound deadening too. So I'm probably gonna say this in every video, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, uh, My dad's a contractor, however, the terms, the sizes, some of the numbers, some of the measurements is all new information to me. And I, I had the experience of being in Menards today was really interesting because I was walking around like, very willing to learn, very willing. Um, I have only ever walked into Menards with someone who knows exactly where they're going, exactly what they're looking for, and, and exactly what to grab. And so to not know was very interesting. I was there for like two hours. I was looking at sinks, I was looking at countertops, like I was getting very distracted, but it was worth it. I was being able to price a few things, price compare. But I'm um, just very excited for this whole project. So be sure to be tagging along, subscribe, uh, share, sign up for notifications, uh, leave comments and suggestions open to them. And so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so some of the supplies that you will need if applicable a giant roll of paper um, that is how I plan to lay out the um, or be able to specifically cut cut the plywood for the floor so I will be laying that out and taping it together the size of the floor and then laying that on top of the plywood to trace and then cut I will be cutting with a jigsaw okay 
a circular saw, okay? I mostly plan on using the jigsaw for, cause that's how you're gonna get all those cuts, but straight away, we're gonna hit that circular saw. And then um, these are the jigsaw blades. I bought a whole set because I will also be cutting windows and vents. So that will be become very useful. Um, I have heard to use uh, liquid nails, liquid nails, but uh, when I went to get liquid nails, one, they were out of a lot of the options, and then two, uh, I made sure that it goes on to metal. So that's a big deal, because if you go buy whatever and it's only like wood on wood or whatever, I am going to be, I do not want to drill into the bottom of my van as much as possible, only if I absolutely have to for some reason. And so, um, because I will not be doing a bathroom or plumbing, I will have a, a sink and the water system for the sink, but not a shower or toilet. Stay tuned for that information. Um, that being said, I am going to glue the two by twos down to the floor and then uh, insulate between that grid. Also caulk gun for the, this is Loctite, which um, it was a little more expensive, but uh, it, cause it's, you know, a little bit more durable and goes on the stuff. This is gone awry very quickly because it's windy out. So I was trying to tape this down and then it flew all the way up. So, and also I'm looking at where the crease is gonna be in the plywood where the seam will be. And I'm actually gonna flip this entire thing over um, so that where the most traffic is, is not where the seam is. So um, that is positioned to be the front and this is the back. However, I'm gonna flip this around so that the seam is mostly underneath the cabinets and the bed, not literally in the middle of the walkway. So I'm gonna do a little flip a here and then move on with life. I may not wear gloves, but I am gonna wear a shield, face shield. I can't find my safety glasses. I think I left them at home and I'm at Regent Science, so. Thanks, Uncle Brian. I'm borrowing your shield. And your saw. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, splintered the heck out of that. A little extra studying it is. But I, and maybe many of you are watching like, oh girl, get someone to help you. No, <laughs> I don't wanna say I'm too proud because I would get help if I needed, but how do you learn besides trying, right? And get like, you know, I coach people to write their books and some of them are not great writers when they start, they practice. So this is cool, learning. Okay, I gotta go watch some YouTube videos. Okay, so successfully watched a video about a few things to not splinter, and one of them is to run a blade over your cut, like so. So there's that, I can do that a couple times. Also um, adding painter's tape, which I will probably go get. So to do painter's tape um, will prevent the splintering as well, which is right here in front of me, so stay tuned. So, fun fact, I bought blades for a reciprocating saw, not a jigsaw. So, I have to put the jigsaw that I brought to the side, and then again, thanks Uncle Brian, borrow his, which does have an older blade, so I'll have to go get some more of those um, at my new favorite store. But, uh, okay, we're gonna give the jigsaw a try for the wheel wells. Oh boy, friends. I can already tell them I like the jigsaw. That was so easy. I just took a little nick out of where the wheel well, uh, I've carved the wheel well, and it was fun. I can control this. This is like a butter knife. Oh, baby. Okay, much better than the other one. Okay, here we go. 
Um, actually, you guys might get jostled. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna do another sample. How was that for you? I think you guys got, got it going on. Let's get you up here where you won't have to be so. I actually will say, probably the hardest part of this whole build is in, is bringing you along, is remembering to film and get pictures. Like, it, I think I could pro one, could have this done twice as fast without filming it. It will be worth it in the end. It will be worth it in the end. Uh, it'll even be fun. I recorded the entire, my entire last year as a nomad when we were traveling the country in a camper and Sequoia. And I look back at those and I'm like, oh, so, Thanks, past self. I'll just keep on keeping on. All right. Also, did you know I'm ambidextrous? <laughs> Our overlap. The cuts are pretty great, so that's cool. Focus. Okay, so the cuts are pretty all right. That one's beautiful. Got this little corner here, so we got an overlap, which I will trim down. And this side's actually a shorter overlap. So, like I said, I really blame the paper for that one, but I don't know how I missed that cut. So this should be slid over like a full inch so i'm gonna have to get after that guy but and then this part is the one that i will cut from that other piece of remaining plywood so uh at risk of giving getting a splinter i'm gonna take a five minute rest <sighs> hours later Oh, you got it. Okay, so this, I don't want to say it's just because it's such a huge feat. Okay, so clearly you can see there is not the two by twos or the installation. I haven't even touched any of that yet except for walking over it and using it to weigh down the paper as you saw. Uh, the paper was quite a mess. It was windy. It had a really crappy effect on um, the actual cuts it was pretty good however uh one challenge oh sorry <sighs> one challenge is that i'm tired it's i think it's like 10 o'clock at night at this point and i started at about five so this this five hour project right right there i'll talk i'll show you it in a minute but um the paper was not very effective because um, it got it got jumbled and crumbled. It did not give me good cuts. The joints um, I kept having to like trim and shave, and I took them out like five times each. But very worth it because the cuts are really good. I'm really good at the jigsaw. I'm actually pretty good at the handsaw now too. So like I can just the whole point of doing this first was to be able to lay down the uh two by twos tonight with the liquid nails and then use this to press it down and then i'll put weight on top of it so that's the plan i am not out of energy yet but i've made quite a mess <laughs> um okay so let me show you it's so fun guys um so i did cut it to no like knowing that it would be raised nearly two inches um this cut ended up a little off, whatever. I am going to extend my cabinetry this far out and this will actually be my entrance uh, to step up into. I am so stoked about having like a potential outside cabinet. I brought the 
plywood all the way up to the walkway. I will be building a partition so it'll be nice to have a really firm floor. I gave myself as much floor as possible to work with. This piece, um, like I was the most skilled with the saw at this point. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, and then this, so other than the, like you can see little, little gaps, but it's really just about um, pulling it all together and then getting it down. Look at it, you guys, I did it all by myself and a couple YouTube videos and I'm really grateful. Zing, 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 zing. Making messes. Chopping up pieces of wood. I got a surprise for y'all. I, uh, it's like, I think it's like 11.30. I'm still sawing, by the way. I'm trying not to break any city ordinances. Okay, so they are not glued yet, but I'm gonna number them. I'm gonna take them all up and out, and then we're gonna liquid nail them down. Uh, we're gonna nail them, to, or liquid them today, tonight. This is still the same day. Uh, I get pretty fixated, and uh, and I have a lot of energy. So, uh, anyways, this one, the one thing that's really bugging me about these is that they're bowed, or you know. But that's what it's imperfect, and so are we. Okay, folks, it is 2:03 a.m. and the uh, all the planks, all the two by twos are down and being held down by the plywood and weighted. There are two bowed pieces that are really bowed that are really frustrating. Um, the rest of them are pretty okay, so I'm gonna drive home and weigh that down. And then go to bed. Um, so I'm not really tired. I'm physically so sore. <laughs> um, but I wanted to say I feel so good. I All the nerves that I was feeling in the beginning of today around using a saw or do I know what I'm doing? Like, so far, so good. It's great. There Hi friends, welcome back to the van build. Uh, same episode, but this is day two of the subfloor. I am inside. I don't know if you can hear the concert in the background, but my one of my favorite childhood songs, Mbop, is playing and that may age me. Uh, I am 33, I'm a millennial and a proud one, a very proud one. Process. And I'm really excited. I woke up and jumped back in. Mm. The van smells like new construction. Anybody else love the new construction smell. Uh, I know I do. Anyways, I grew up in it, so it's like pretty familiar to me. And uh, even like, it reminds me of the basketball court too, like the gym, just wood, the smell of wood. Anyways, I digress. I'm gonna get this project done, hopefully before 2 a.m. because I slept till like 10.30 this morning and just like, ah, ah. like my hands hurt, my feet hurt, my, that just all that movement. And I'll tell you, um, I'm fairly strong, but the gripping of the, um, the saw, uh, really had like my wrist doing a certain something. So anyways, those are some of the behind the scenes aspects of the work, especially if you're new to it. Okay. Love you. See you soon. jam. This work is my jam. Together. <laughs> it's going really well, guys. Honestly, your eyes on me, I'm holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This whole thing is like a puzzle. It's actually really rewarding to like cut a piece. And so I'm putting it in to like, it doesn't move. I'm like having to really set it in there so that it's not jiggly and wiggly and making any noises but going so good so far all right y'all did it okay 
seam of the plywood one went up to like right here and it was perfect but it left the other edge of the plywood like um, sinking when you step on it so I installed these pieces these extra pieces here so this is <clears throat> to reinforce like I was saying but so this is more the reason I wanted to show you this is because I was posting about it in a van life group and um, someone asked me if, they were like can you please pr post your your frame or your like layout for this and I'm like um <laughs> like this piece like I just put that there to close that gap it was a little bigger than I wanted so this is completely customized and your van build will be completely customized because even like this side to that side like you can't copy paste one to the other so um yeah everything is <clears throat> unless i don't know unless you lit literally have the foreign transit extended 250 extended cargo extended roof like unless you have exactly that then anything i put out really isn't going to matter because you're going to just need to size it all up anyway so that's that super stoked stay tuned literally like r you can see the stage right there so had everyone in town looking at the van which was fun and great but i didn't hardly get shit done this is okay if you're doing this by yourself or maybe with a friend it's probably a two to three hour project this took six hours <laughs> this took six hours five hours because I stopped, talked, showed it around, answered questions, which I'm so happy for, like perfectly grateful. And this was not, it, it, I, the time measurement on that one was not very effective. So anyways, it's going good. I'm having fun. I'm having lots of fun. <sighs> okay, folks. <sighs> okay. If I would have come to, to you to record approximately two minutes ago, maybe this was four minutes ago, you would have seen a very sad Abby. <laughs> I have my drill. I have got one and a half inch uh, wood screws and it comes with the bit, but I only had one bit because I went to Ace Hardware approximately five minutes before it closed. Couldn't find another bit. So I am just praying that one holds out because you can strip these. This one is looking a little strippy uh, because I am a newbie. I'm sure there's plenty of very skilled people putting down floors and who might laugh at what I'm doing, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, my very first screw, where's that at? Did, I couldn't get it in and then I couldn't get it out, so it's just gonna stay there for now. A row of screws in at the top and now I'm gonna move down and get it going, get it set. But yeah, I mean, I was feeling like, oh shit, how am I, like, I thought I wasn't strong enough to get them to go down. Like, cause like the first one didn't, then I looked up a video, then I got one or two in with, there's a different setting. I forget what the, um, uh, like torque or force. There's some phrase that was on that video for how the, the drill itself is actually, um, screwing. So... I, it's working now, but I was a little sad for a little moment and now it's much, much better. So I am going to attempt to get this whole floor down, just praying that my bit holds up for lots of screws and we'll kind of just see how this goes. So far, so good. I would say I'm really proud of myself at this moment. Okay. Okay, so also I will show you um, perhaps, so there's obviously there's um, there's like a chalk line you can make with this tool. I was just to see my dad use it, but uh, quite frankly, I don't like the mess that the chalk tool makes. So I'm using this ruler that I have from the shop, which is to cut canvas. Um, okay, so, uh, I marked, what I did was I lifted the plywood and I made marks, I don't know if you can see them, right there, like here, 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 so that I know where underneath, because that was the most intimidating thing is like, I want a freaking drill to where there's no, um, no wood underneath, that's dumb. And so, uh, now, if I line this up just like so, 
I know exactly where that wood is. And, and standing up also gives me a bit more leverage on making sure that these screws are going all the way in. So um, I'm really putting a lot of force on the top of it, uh, on the top of the screw. Just till tomorrow or another day figuring out what to do about that but I just stood here I kind of teared up a little bit like I really did that not that I doubted I would but um, other people have I think there's a lot of like um, I really don't like reinforcing the you're a female or what do you know about construction or what do you know about laying a subfloor or building a cabinet or hooking up your solar that like when it's really I'm like I can do it I can do it and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it that I, I I've done it I did what I said I would do and I knew I could and now I did and now it's like I proved it to myself and like even real like got better along the way and I ended up saving myself the biggest piece for last and like I'm tired so that wasn't the coolest but um, I also sort of ran out of screws so by tomorrow I'll go grab a few more screws and put them in but for all intents and purposes this thing is solid like I did it. It's been a wild two days. Wild. So it's done and I love it and I'm happy. And um, what what made me tear up was like next project, right? It, I can I can really see the turnout in my head. And so I think that's the exciting part is being able to produce a finished product that I can see but can't show yet like this is going to be something spectacular it already is something spectacular also I shouldn't be rubbing my eyes um wood is itchy <laughs> my legs itch and um this was happening yesterday too so Make sure you shower after dealing with wood in case that's the thing. Um, we did it, folks. Thanks for sticking along. We are going to... I saged right before laying the subfloor down. And now we're going to sage after to cleanse any and all. And for those of you who might not know, it's not just about the bad juju, it's all juju, it's a fresh start, so. Let me get chill too. Thanks for being here. Oh, what a ride, huh? What a ride, huh? Let's take a deep breath in together. And a deep breath out. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Okay, friends, we are now doing the compound, the patching compound. And uh, let me tell you, I got one groovy floor. <laughs> um, so I am, it looks like a hot mess right now. I have a big, this spot was uneven, um, just, that is life and that's how that goes. It's imperfect and so is its owner. <laughs> 
So what I'm doing is spreading this around. In fact, I'll show you again. Um, I am spreading this around and what I'm actually doing is going, so since this right here is pretty much the heavy traffic walkway, I'm, cover, I'm filling in all these grooves because I'm going to do a vinyl sheet and um, my guess is that, so I'm getting in the, the screw holes obviously, but I'm also really just going over all these grooves because I don't know if, if, if I were to lay it and see it, I'd be like, damn, I could have done that. So uh, this may not be uh, the best and exact way to do it, but I'm definitely willing to uh, get rid of these grooves if that means not having to see them in the vinyl floor. So uh, that's that. And But as far as any like screw hole, let's see if you can see that over there. Um, I'm just making sure to get in there and then scrape as much off as possible. I'm gonna, this is gonna dry, this is all groovy too, but um, uh, what was I gonna say? Is I'm trying to make sure there's no, it's easy to get an air pocket, so if you just kinda get it in there and then scrape right over, easy peasy lemon squeezy, and then you won't get those divots. Um, I'm, you know, depending I guess on what floor you were putting down and how how much you cared about it. You could do more or less of this specific step. Um, but I am gonna be using that vinyl. So uh, lots of plenty of opportunity to find imperfections. So just gonna get it and I'm gonna keep doing this for a while. So that's that. The floor is sealed as best as it can be. There, this spot had the biggest uh, lip as well as up there, and then I filled in that high traffic area. I will say on the edges where I know it will be covered by cabinetry and the bed, uh, I did not go as hard. I did cover every hole, but I wasn't too particular about um, any extra, uh, just, you know, blemishes or whatever, covered some knots as well. Yesterday and I was wiped out. I actually slept like most of the day. And I uh, wanna say that because if you're a newbie and you're starting, there's, there's the physical work, yes, but there's also like the brain work of learning something new, measurements, um, uh, types of screws, like all these details that you must know and then configure Whew. Uh, in order to do this project. So, get a good look. Oh, so sexy, so sexy. So, that's that, y'all. We are well on our way. Oh, man, y'all. It's gonna look real different. Real different real soon. Thanks for tuning in. Subfloor project is officially done. I am taking a break and eating some of my grandma's chili. Uh, the shop where we, where I'm working, my grandma lives upstairs. I actually lived there before she did. It was an apartment that we had refinished. And so, hanging out, in fact, you guys are set up in her vehicle while I'm set up in mine. Um, just want to give a little recap on the overall subfloor project. In total, uh, I'm going to do rounding because I'm not doing dollars and cents, so it was about 300 50 to 370 dollars for the for the flooring project and that doesn't include like the power tools because luckily I'm I'm so lucky and so grateful I have power tools for my family and friends that are being borrowed and especially because um, I don't like I might buy a drill and have it for the van and such but for the most part the things I'm using um, not gonna need long term so just borrowing at this moment and um so the van the floor was about 370 dollars i'll say and then probably seven three two one 13 hour project in total and that's you know minus filming minus distractions and then added up as it's multiple days it was a i would say a three-day project because i just finished the this uh the putty and so yeah 
it was fun. It's beautiful. I'm so happy to have done this this specific project, and now my brain is just rapid fire. Um, so what's coming up next? As you start to follow, if you'd love to support the van build, support the lifestyle and the content, I have a link below. A very common. Um, modality or platform is Patreon, Patreon, which many of you have probably heard before and, and subscribe. However, because I have my own content in, tra in the transformation realm, um, I have Kajabi. So you will be able to click the link below to check out my subscription options. Uh, there's, you know, from just supportive to exclusive content and access including the van stuff and my transformation stuff. So if you'd like to take advantage of that and support the process, please check it out. Uh, that's Most of that can be found at abigailgazda.com as well, but I will be sure to link it below. And I just wanna thank you so much for following along. I will do my best to be in the comments section with you. Feel free to ask any questions, make any suggestions, teach, learn, all the fun stuff. I will cut that off. Don't at me about this. <laughs> I just, there will be a cool cabinet that goes here and this will be the entrance. So stay tuned. You guys, I love you so much. See you in the next episode.